slow. Oh. Spent in the pursuit of knowledge, one question consumed me. How did our world come to be? The old ones perished a thousand years ago, triggering the extinction of all life. Oh, wow. She showed me how it was reborn. A little outcast girl, ignorant of her own importance. Through her, I learned that life was only saved through a technological miracle. Zero Dawn. A terraforming system composed of nine subordinate functions. Each playing its part to reshape Earth from a barren rock to a lush landscape. Tended and protected by the machines. And with her, I learned the deepest secret of them all. The secret of her birth. That she is a clone of Elizabeth Subek, Zero Dawn's creator. Born to prevent a new extinction. Driven by Hades, a malevolent AI. Given sentience by a mysterious signal of unknown origin. And with a little help from me, she prevailed in a great battle at the city of Meridian. Becoming a champion for all humankind. But as useful as she has been, now, I must leave her behind. For as she strives to put right what Hades sundered, I have made a new discovery. One that heralds <coughs> both destruction and opportunity. Hello to the one person who decided to watch, if you're still there. Oh, so a little uh, her uh, Zero Dawn recap. That's nice. <clears throat> okay, so finally getting around to actually playing this game. I'm sure that's all fine. Extras. Um, that's it. I was very hard. Explorer sounded more fun. Auto saves will take place frequently as you progress through each quest step. Sound. That is beautiful already. of a terraforming system that's spiraling out of control. And only I can fix it. 
Only I have your genetic code. It won't be long before we hit the point of no return. Oh, this is Buckley. Extinction. I've been searching for months for what I need. A backup of Gaia. The AIU designed to control the system. But every time I think I have a lead, it comes to nothing. And every night, I have the same dream. Doctor Strange. I'm walking under a brilliant night sky, through a field of flowers. And when I arrive at the center, I see you, Elizabeth. Waiting for me, even though you've been dead for a thousand years. You're the closest person I've ever had to a mother. Never even met her. And for a moment, I feel whole. Oh, Tano snap. God, this game is so pretty. I'm always left alone. This world is your legacy, Elizabeth. I won't let it slip away. The valley below is my only remaining lead. My last hope to find the backup. I'll do whatever it takes to get it. I promise. Oh, this dude. <laughs> if it isn't Aloy, <clears throat> savior of Meridian, anointed of the Nora. You know I hate being called that stuff. Well, consider it a punishment for running out on us the very same night we beat Hades. I grew up an outcast. Remember, I'm not much for parties. Yeah. But that one was in your honor. Just saying. So! <laughs> What are we doing? Must be urgent since you left so fast. Delving into ancient ruins? Or maybe it has something to do with the blight. Both, actually, but, um... I, I should... Oh, no. I've been dragging you a long way. It's okay. After everything you've done to help the Nora and my family, I swore an oath to help you. No matter what, you're stuck with me now. Like bark on wood. I barely remember him from the first game, to be honest. Okay, <clears throat> but if you're going to come with me, you'll need to be able to see what I see. <sighs> A focus? Never thought I'd get your second sight. I'll give you another one later and show you how to back up your data. Data? Information on the device. We've got a lot to cover. Um, I'll have to explain everything as we go. You see like this all the time? Since I was a little girl. Come on.
Shall we? Grapes on the way here. We should find some medicinal plants. Stock up. So it's time for your first lesson with the focus. Sounds good. Let's get started. Thought I was gonna praise him for a second. God. These plants don't look like the ones in the sacred lands. The focus helps you see the ones we need. There. Those plants by the stream should do the trick. Ugh. Bitter? No, yeah, well, at least they make you feel better. All right, we should keep going. I wonder, uh, are we still in the first game as well? Yeah, good idea. Slimy. I'll take your word for it. Yuck. Those ruins. That's where we need to go. I see a few ways down. What are we after exactly? The backup? Well, um, it's an AI. It's, um, it's hard to explain. Think of it like. A set of instructions that can fix the world. Sounds complicated. God, look at that. It's so vibrant. I love it. The first game is still one of the best looking games I've ever played. So, yeah. and this is a. Ran into some trouble on the way here. Lost a lot of my gear. Well, that's convenient. I definitely, like, that's the way of explaining the fact that I don't have all of the, like, class equipment that I, <laughs> I would have had. Looks like they left a carcass behind. Well, let's go have a look-see. to the ancient ruins. A lot of arrows in that machine. Better take a closer look. Oh. Uh, won't let me. There we go. Come on. Yeah. Someone took down this machine recently. Who else would come? I don't know. We better craft some arrows of our own. There might be trouble with that. There's some ridgewood by the stream. Oh, where? <coughs> oh, there's um some more flowers. All right. Now to craft some arrows. Done. Me too. Arrows ready. There's a ladder, but can't reach it from here. Nothing a well-placed arrow can't knock free. Just have to target the lock. Did it. After you. Easy peasy. What was this place? I don't know. The transmission... The, uh, message I found. Didn't say. Only that a backup might be here. We need to find a way in. Oh, another fox. Plants. 
killing animals too. Then people will get sick too. And starve. Oh, pry open. That's a new one. So, um what happened after I left Meridian? Well, there was a fuss when people realized you were gone. But then some of us figured you only would have left if it were for something important. You were wrong about that. Oh. Find anything good? A few supplies. Uh, I'm definitely going to forget completely about the fact that you can open car boots now to get stuff from them, but whatever. Down this way. Get to the grass. They're new, aren't they? Never seen one of those before. Me neither. Those dead machines have it on alert. How do you want to handle it? The focus can help us. We can scan the machine before we make our move. Okay. Give it a second. Okay. See how parts of it are glowing? Those are its weak spots. Got it. Use to scroll through machine's components. It's I. It's a weak spot. Right. Uh, okay. Oh, I still have this thing, cool. Oh. Um, he wasn't so tough. Another one's coming. Oh. Oh god. Oh, he really just beat the crap out of him. How does the focus know all that? It reads data on the machine. Like a hunter studying its prey? Yeah, kind of. Short points from your focus, so yeah. So after the fuss over me leaving, what did everyone else do? Well, as soon as the celebration was over, my mother led the rest of the Nora home. Sun King put his people to work rebuilding the city. And I set out to find you. Someone shot this machine too. Yes, fired very good. Another ladder. Need to shoot off the lock. Got it. You said you had a focus since you were a child, right? Yeah. I found my first one when I fell into a ruin. Got the others from an old cache not long ago. It's good to have extras. Through here. Going into a ruin of the old ones. Welcome to the far zenith of Texas. Scrap the shit out of me. I know they made some tech trades with Zero Dawn, but why would they have a backup of Gaia? We'll have to Please hear register from with reception for the tour. I guess they want us to check in with them. Please hold for identity scan. 
This is a thousand years old. How the hell is this right here for personnel to assist you, Doctor Sobek? Okay. I guess they weren't on great terms with Elizabeth. Well, let's find a way in. Please hold for identity scan. Access denied. Credentials not recognized. I guess it doesn't like me either. <laughs> Be able to pry this open. That's so cool. Why do I find that so cool? Oh, there's stalag, uh tights. Stalag tights. Yeah. Whoa, the uh, haptic feedback on this is uh, pretty strong. <laughs> there's climbing gear. Yes, someone dropped in from above. Oh. Whoever left this here might have also shot those machines we found earlier. So where are they now? Oh, Isra is of max medicine, so there's no point in me gathering on this. Entire camp. Wiped out. They must have come here to delve for scrap. Okay, that, that hurts. That explains the smell. And it looks like something big came in from above. Crashed right through the camp. And then through the wall. I should take a look at the rubble in that gap. Hmm. Oh, this gap. Alrighty then, Aloy. Whatever came through here brought this down as it went out. If I can dislodge some of the debris, we might be able to squeeze through. Maybe I can find something to help in the camp. Aloy, over oh. here. I think I got something. Hold on a minute, dude. I want to explore. Not a good thing. Come on, let's destroy it. I see the map from here. Nope. Oh, there is some kind of map. I will look at all that later on when we get free room and stuff. I imagine. It's some kind of Osram prototype, I think. This hook looks like it can latch onto things. And this gear pulls it back. Hmm. It looks broken, but maybe we can repair it. Hook it to the debris. And pull it out. That could work. The focus can help us search the camp and identify anything we can use to fix the tool. That sounds like a load of baloney. My focus picked up a couple of things to check out. Poor guy. Acid burned right through his armor. Part of a machine could help fix the gears. Oh, something's over here. Machine cable. Stronger than rope. All right, I think I have what I need to repair the tool. Just where we get a grappling hook. Can make something better. You could use this workbench. A uh, pull caster, an improved version of a uh, Delver's prototype tool that can latch onto and pull objects. Also enables grappling to specific points. Hell yeah. <coughs> How do I there. use it? Uh, pull caster. Now to test it on the debris. Can I test on something else first? I kind of want to web sing around. The podcaster is a versatile tool that allows you to blah 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 cool. Oh. Wait. 
on L2 and tap triangle. Oh. Scan the area. We have to find a way to keep going. Huh. What's this thing for? The pulse didn't turn up much. I better scan. Oh. Activate console. Whoa. Good morning. I'm Oswald Dalgar. Oswald <laughs> Dalgar, what a name. To introduce you to Far Zenith. Forget what you think you know about us. Our truth is simple. We say reach for the stars, even if you have to cross 8.6 light years of space to get there. Please proceed into the auditorium, where we'll unveil our plans. Will do, bro. Wonder what's in this auditorium? Guess we'll find out. Look at that, dude. I should so open up pretty. my focus display and see what I can find. Oh, wonder can I use the? Uh... Oh no, maybe maybe that isn't the uh, like grappling hook thing. Shooting it is not working. Indeed. Oh wait, Just hold like okay. Focus. I'm done. Oh, I might be able to get up there. I don't think I'm doing this right. You can grapple to two points in the world. Just jump and tap extra. Touch. Okay, I'm an idiot. That's wow. good. That works. That pull caster is useful. Too bad there's only one. Don't worry, I'll find you another way up. <laughs> Hope it's uh, not something I need to like craft pull caster ammo or something like that. Oh god, I thought I just jumped off. Have X while trying to form a long jump. Q. Okay, I gotta drop the ladder for Varl. Ah, yes. There you go, Varl. Thanks. How do I get up there? I want to get that chest, but I don't know how to get up to it. What if I go back all the way around? Oh, that was close. Oh. That did not seem to work. At least I actually don't need to go all the way back up, because I can go up the ladder. No way to get up there. Well, I'm there obviously is somewhere, but I'm just too stupid to see it. That is weird. I actually don't know how you do it. I'm not really bothered spending more time trying to figure it out either. is taking the next leap into the future. That's why we're proud to have resurrected the Odyssey. 
When our government's abandoned in orbit, Far Zenith will actualize in less than a decade. But that's only the beginning. When the ship is complete, we will send the Odyssey and her crew where no one's gone before. <laughs> humanity's first off-world colony. The Odyssey may take 300 years to reach it, but when we look up at the night sky, we'll know they're on their way. And in the words of our founder, the late Peter Shinvumbe, the truest form of immortality is data corrupt. <laughs> the playback stopped. The old ones could fly through the sky? Between the stars? Uh, well, yes, sort of. Yo, are we going to space? You want to see it? It never made it to the other star. Something went wrong, and it blew up. How does she know that? Elizabeth gave them a backup of Gaia for a colony. Error. Public presentation file corrupted. Member recruitment file available. Do you wish to reactivate? Yeah, reactivate. Let's see what else they had to say. We all know the projections. Economic instability, new biocontagions, rampant AIs. How long before another catastrophe creates unacceptable risk for the world's elite? We here at Far Zenith believe, escape the inevitable. And so we reach for the stars. Now you've seen what we're building here. Infrastructure to support the Odyssey's construction. A state-of-the-art data center to facilitate rapid technological advancements. And you've seen how we're managing public perception. So invest and join us. Claim your birth on the Odyssey. Preserve your way of life beyond the concerns of Earth. Well, they were right about the world ending. I just didn't know how. Yet. So everything they said back there about the next step for humanity, it was all a lie. These people only cared about saving their own skin. Yeah, well, didn't work out for them in the end. That Oswald guy mentioned a data center. Oswald. <laughs> Oh heck yeah. There. The backup. This should be stored in there. Won't be able to swim across. I guess we'll have to find a way around. Come on. <laughs> the wilds have really grown over this place. Oh yeah, secrets. Machine muscle. That's not. That's those two words don't make sense together. Oh, what? I thought that was it. Oh yeah. <clears throat> Aloy, you are ridiculously strong. Oh, what's that? There? Search the ancient ruins for a guy back up. Can do. Does this hurt when I walk on it? Yep. What is that? Oh. Keep your guard up. Oh, my guard is up. Up here. Careful. 
Don't want those things to call in some friends from underground. Okay. You take the left one. I'll deal with the one on the right. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I know the drill. Oh, you got there so quickly, though. Gotcha. Mine's down too. Give me a rock back. There we go. More of those machines ahead. Nothing you and I can't handle. I don't like when Aloy tries to be a female Nathan Drake. I like her kind of quips and puns and. Well, not puns, but. Little quips and one liners she does. I feel like it doesn't really suit her. I've got your back. Sound, man. It's just these two? That's not too bad. Whenever you want to come on, wait, what? What are these things called? Bur burrower, okay. <coughs> well, that's not fun to say. Hello there. Uh oh, that did not go as I wanted it to. Okay, that's not good. Hell yeah. I've been meaning to mention. I noticed you have a new look these days. <laughs> yeah, I know. Didn't have a lot of time to shave when I was trying to catch up to you. Don't worry, it's not permanent. Good. Sorry <laughs> my whiskers offend you, anointed. I love how you said a new look these days, as if she, you know, has been seeing him regularly. Even though she uh, only seen him for the first time in like weeks or months in the last half an hour. Alright, how does the folks know his name? Uh, probably because she, she said it a few times. Oh no, I forgot about that stuff dealing damage. Okay, that's not the way. Can I just jump up here? Oh, that works. The Osra must have used explosives against the machines. We managed to get a couple. Looks like there was a barricade here. The machines must have broken through. I'll keep this for later. I guess that Othram didn't have a chance to use it. You see the small... Oh, her portion. Cool. Traps ahead. Oh. oh, that's what they are. Be able to disarm them. There. Managed to salvage some supplies. 
and not blow yourself Dismantled up. Dismantled it. Cool. Just kind of reminiscent of the um. While we're here, maybe we can make some traps of our own. Might come in handy against machines. Good idea. Uh, it's similar to the place where, like Aloy was born uh, under the mountain or whatever. I can use this. <coughs> oh. Okay. Should have what I need to craft a trap. Oh, wait, why do I want to cut craft a trap? Okay. There. Explosive trap made. If anything walks into one of those. Over here, Aloy. I think I see a way up. I'm going up the way up, dude. Machine's head. Oh, these these are more familiar. Aren't they? These are uh of mine. Scrounger. It's new to me. Let's see where its weak points are. Maybe we could place one of those traps you made in its path. Hell yeah, dude. Oh no. Closer, please. Will you please? No way. Okay. Oh, well, not expecting that. Not sure how I died there because I dodged, but whatever. It's best to only scan. Okay. Don't think they spotted us. He definitely spotted us. Oh god. Oh wait, I didn't get to just pick up the trap again. Oh god damn it. Whoops. Aha, oh, great! Oh, okay, he died that time. That's cool. Oh, I keep on forgetting about that stuff. I 
probably just start beating it when it's down then. Let's keep going then. Cool, 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 cool. You've been in a lot of old world ruins. Are they all like this? They all have their secrets, but every place is different. Now, how do we get up there? Okay, well, that was easy. Whoa. That machine we saw earlier must be on the move. Let's hope it doesn't come this way. That thing was big and scary. The blighted lands, the rivers and lakes choked with algae. You were born to fix all that? Yeah, but I can only do it if I find that backup. I think we're winding our way around to the data center. We'll need to cut through that big building on the right out there. Hey, Varl. There's data here. You scan it with your focus. Hmm. This data mentions the tech that Far Zenith traded with Zero Dawn. It doesn't explain how they got it back up. I'll keep an eye out for more data. Let's see. Huh. A lot of glyphs. I'll tuck this away to study later. Looks like we've got to climb up. Wait, what's out here before we go any further? Oh, this is... Is that where we just were? I'm pretty sure it is. Yeah. Oh, well that scared the hell out of me. Yeah. Guess we won't be going that way. Well, oh yeah. years old. Looks like some kind of meeting room. Oh, fine. Didn't mean to interrupt the airline. Just kidding. You don't exist. You don't have feelings. The Zero Dawn terraforming system. The brainchild of Dr. Elizabeth Asilbeck. Empowered by nine subordinate functions. Gaia, the core of the system is capable of advanced planetary engineering, an obvious advantage to our space colonization efforts. Operation Phase 1. Establish an asset within Project Zero Dawn. Status complete. Phase 2. The asset will secretly beamcast a complete copy of Gaia and her subordinate functions to this facility's data center. If all goes well, Zero Dawn staff will remain completely unaware of the transmission. Risks. Discovery of this operation could result in Zero Dawn withholding the already negotiated Apollo database. Special care must be taken not to alert Travis Tate, the expert hacker in charge of Haney's protocol. In addition, extreme caution must be exercised in regards to Dr. Sobek herself. As one of the world's preeminent technologists, she may have instituted unforeseen security measures. A complete assessment is attached. This concludes the executive summary. I thought Elizabeth sent the backup here, but she didn't. Far Zenith stole Gaia. Aloy? 
Why does that woman look like you? Uh, um, it's okay, Paul. We look alike because we're the exact same, genetically identical. But she was one of the old ones. How can you be her? Because I wasn't born. I was made by a machine. It's why I'm motherless, why I was cast out as an infant. I don't understand. What kind of machine can make a person? Remember when I said the backup is like a set of instructions? It's more than that. It's called Gaia. And for a long time, she cared for the world until she had to destroy herself. So she made me to bring her back. I'm the only one who can. And this place is my last hope. You once said the goddess spoke to you when you went into All Mother Mountain. Was that this Gaia? Yes, but she's not the goddess, Oral. There isn't one. How can you be sure? It sounds like she anointed you with a sacred task. I've had a lot of time to figure this out. And you will too, with the focus. But for now, the report said they were going to store the stolen copy of Gaia in the data center. So that's where we have to go. Okay? Mamma mia. Well, I leave footsteps from the uh look at that. Let's go. Aloy, over here. I found something you could use. Slightly. A weapon. Thanks, Ma. We should keep moving. After you. Oh, I thought he'd be like kinda of mad or like um whatever. Bombs up. Oh yeah, so this is the same thing that we had in the, the last game. Down here. Ouch. I think we're almost back outside. Good. Look, that must be the machine. It's heading in the same direction we're going. Tired. This game is so pretty. Well, we're not jumping clean down there. Oh, there's a machine right there. I did not see him. Over here. Over where now? Oh yeah. All the awesome Dovers. And a lot of acid. That big machine must have attacked as they tried to escape. They didn't stand a chance. This backup is the last hope. Yeah. All those places I've been these last few months, there were supposed to be more backups. But a thousand years ago, a guy named Ted Pharaoh urged them out. Did he try to find Venus too? No. He was worse. I think he was the guy that like suffocated a lot of people in the room and like destroyed all like uh, documents of the old world. So, 
just so people wouldn't remember that he was the one that like destroyed the world or something. Iron, right, what are you saying? I haven't a clue. I never even checked underneath the waterfall. Oh, baddies. Machines patrolling ahead. We can tag them in focus to keep track of them. Oh, yeah. Fire, move your big ass head. Oh. Move. Oh, man, you're killing me. Are these just watchers? Oh, the barrowers again. Why not get in the... Uh, oh, that's close. Jeez, there's another one. Wow, those ladder things are so fun to do. To do. I don't know why I find ladder puzzles so boring. Probably because they're boring. Really okay with you not going back to the sacred lands? As the Nora war chief, she understood why I was obligated to follow you. But as my mother, she wasn't pleased. Is she ever pleased? I don't think I've seen her smile. Me neither. How the hell do I get up there? I can hear... Slaughtered all those Osirum, we'll never get through to the data center. 
There's no way to slip past them. They're too tough to fight head on. We could find a settlement. Convince some hunters to help us. That would take weeks, and we don't have that kind of time. Maybe all we need is that shuttle to fall. That thing? How? We'll figure it out. Just wait here. Aloy? Trust me. And there she goes. Just need to get over to the shuttle to figure out how to make it fall into the basin. I'd kind of rather he came with me though, to be honest. You, guy you, guy you. If I can make it to that tower, I should be able to find a way across to the shuttle. dog water how many of us said that no 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 go go away go away how, how can I craft a rock Oh god damn it, after all that, after all that, are you kidding me? That's great. Got it anyway. There, that ladder can get me up to the tower. Ah, yes, this ladder. Oh, wow. Well. myself off that grapple point. No, I, I won't let me go in right now. How do I launch myself off a grapple point? Did the game tell me that? I'm just stuck here now. Oh, to launch there. Got it. Okay, cool. Whoa, 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 it's close, and you just ran off the edge. Well, that sounds good. So, 
wrong, there were three giant machines killing Osirum and leaving acid everywhere. <sighs> Great. Easy. That's so cool. Where are we? Is that an ocean or is that a lake? Oh, I did not. I was close. One rickety tower down. On to the next. Can I still see Varl from here? Where did I leave him? Where did I leave him? He was like over there or something, wasn't he? Alright, he'll be fine. Clamps holding the shuttle in place. I bet there's a control console nearby. If I can release the clamps, cool. the shuttle should fall right into the basin. Oh, great. No machines in my way. How many do we have? Three? That's not too bad. Oh, I only see two now. Oh, yeah, never mind. There's three. The control console might be in there. Come on, go on, before somebody sees me. Cool. Push those machines down below. Shoot him. I'm gonna have to climb the tower to find a way to disconnect them. How to get up the tower. Okay, maybe I should have killed the enemies before. Before. Okay, it's fine. I'll go the long way around. How do you see me so easily? Yeah. Come on, move, move. Go, 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 go.
please don't tell me he sees me. Oh, I'm pretty sure he totally sees me. This grass is so weirdly placed. Come on, then. Try me, bitch. Haha, <laughs> great. Oh, that was terrifying. I didn't know in the first place. There's a medicine herb somewhere here somewhere. Yes. What's this? Oh, Ridgewood. Focus could help here. Hmm. Okay, well, there is stuff to is that stuff to climb? Or is it? it is over on this like this big main part here I just don't see where exactly oh wait isn't this something I can isn't it cool I did, I completely forgot I got this. Okay, that doesn't sound good. I'm gonna have to detach those cables quick. I love how the music's picking up. I guarantee that like the uh, name of the game, like uh, the title card's gonna come up when I do this or whatever it's a. Uh... Oh, alright. I, oh no, sorry, I thought I went in a big massive circle. Good thing I didn't. Oh, 
Almost there. There's the other connector. I don't think I heard an Aloy curse before. What kind of thirst? You don't. The ones I'm not able to hit, and I'm never ever gonna be able to hit. I mean, he just realized that he has no assets. He like open his mouth there. Oh, that was terrifying. Oh no. 
getting scary. Please don't die, please don't die, uh, after all this. Oh god, oh god, oh god, no, 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 I'm... Just die already, just die, just die. Just... Oh god, what was that, what was that? Please stop. Please stop it. No. Oh my god, he has one shot as well. He nearly died. <laughs> First try. He's dead. Finally. Fine. I've got a super villain name. The data center should be straight ahead. I guess Farrell's gonna have to find another way there. That was so easy. <laughs> I'm kidding. Once I get the backup, I can reboot Gaia, fix the system, heal the Blight, restore Elizabeth's dream. But is it still there? Search the data center for our Gaia backup. Whoa, whoa, oh god. Oh god, uh, I thought it was dead. I just look similar to the ones in, uh, uh, uh Dawn. It's here. Yay. Advanced. This ain't no copy of guy you stole, you losers. But it's the mother of all logic bombs. So good luck repairing your data. And next time you start thinking you can outsmart a tape, remember my salute. Oh my god, what's wrong with her hair? <laughs> the goddess. There is no goddess. I told you that already. That's not Gaia. That's not what I'm looking for. It's nothing but a fake.
Why is she being so mean to Varro? sometimes you know but it was pretty amazing to see you fly off that tower and blow up the entire basin the thing is um there's going to be more of that i'm out of leads Farl. but i i have to keep searching and fast and whatever risks i have to take i will and it doesn't make sense to have someone with me someone who might get hurt this is on me Farl. Nobody else. Hold on. Before, in Meridian, you said there was a man who helped you. Silence. You said you used to talk to him a lot about things you discovered from the old world, things no one else understands. And he gave you the lance you used to defeat Hades. He's gone, Varl. I haven't heard from him since the battle against Hades. Sure, but Spymaster Marad back in Meridian, he's good at finding people, isn't he? Varl, I... Come on, it might work. Plus, you'll get to see some friendly faces again. Okay. I... I guess it's worth a shot. We've got a long walk ahead. Actually... I've got a better idea. I played the Viren for catching up with Aloy if you were just walking the whole time. And she was uh, on a mount. Save them. Not yet. In the name of the Sun King of Vard, a royal welcome for the champion. Make way. Murad, Aloy has an urgent matter to discuss. Dashane, that makes two of us. I've sent forth hunters for weeks. The sun fall all the way to the sacred land, searching for you. Something happened at the spire. I'll show you. Watch your step. You saved us all to be sure, but uh, we're still cleaning up the mess. It happened right Ooh. after the solstice. We were able to explain it away, thank the sun. Otherwise, it might have caused a panic. One night, for less than half a minute, it glowed an angry red. From Meridian, it looked like a trick of the light. But those who were closer, atop the light, said it could not have been a reflection. Much to my dismay, they said the light rose up from the tower's base. From that, we left everything just as it was. What do you think happened? I don't know. The Spire's supposed to send out signals, messages, for the terraforming system. But Hades tried to use it to wake up ancient war machines. I was sure I got the connection to that thing. Wait here while I check it out. Let us know what you find. I've got a bad feeling Is this this. like her old spear? I don't know. It looks the same as before. I could pull this thing out of the box.
transmission. Something was transmitted from the top of the spire. I guess I have to find a way up there. Uh, the spire, yes. Can I, uh, just run through? Okay, I haven't a clue what I'm doing. Yeah, that makes more sense. Uh, maybe I can jump to that ledge behind me. Use R2 its camera to look for another clown. Okay, cool. I think those controls are slightly different from uh, the uh first game, I think, uh, what's that over there? Should be able to jump back and reach those ropes behind me. Ouch. Oh, I didn't take any damage, so... What I'm, I'm doing is the game tells me to, I'm just... Arr! That is annoying. That is really annoying. <sighs> Actually, while I'm down here, I'm gonna go over a look at whatever all this stuff is. I should be flattered by the statue. It feels wrong. I await your findings. My job's only half done. Let me know when you've completed your examination. What did you find? Not done yet. But it definitely looks like the orb transmitted something into the spire. Machine carcasses. Remnants from the Battle of the Alight. We were almost overrun by the machines Hades controlled. But we pushed through. Alright, I'll just... Do this. Oh my god, I climbed that goddamn thing. To jump to the side, hold L in desired direction and tap circle. Okay, yeah, it works that time. There now. Well, I thought Silence was helping me when he gave me his lance. <laughs> but it looks like he tricked oh, okay. me. I transmitted something through the spire. Did he save Hades? <sighs> Why would he do that? Well, if I can figure out where he sent it, I can track him down. Hopefully, the transmission note at the top will tell me. Uh, looks like this panel is a jar. Go up through the inside. An elevator? Let's see. Access lift activated. 
Well, that's convenient. Whoa, that's so good looking. I'm surprised it took you so long to discover my rules. You read the lands to steal Hades. How could you be so reckless? Reckless? You're the one who tried to purge Hades before its precious knowledge could be... extracted. The mysterious signal that woke it, for example. But why don't take one of those Gaia backups you've been having such a hard time finding? If you knew, why didn't you just tell me? I've been having problems of my own these past six months, Eloy. The difference is, I've made progress. So once your anger at my entirely necessary deception has faded, now why don't you come out here and find me in the Forbidden West and learn all that I've discovered? Oh, I'll go find you, all right. Yes. Well, the coordinates should make it simple enough. Even for you. Damn, that looks so good the way the rain is like. Will he be a villain fully or will he um, be a bit more anti hero or whatever? You went inside it and it transformed almost like the day of the battle. I can only be grateful that it's a stormy day. Few will have seen the tower change from Meridian. What did you discover? <laughs> Hades. The danger didn't end here, it went into the Forbidden West. And I have to follow. I see. But that can be difficult. West is called Forbidden for a reason. A tribe of ferocious warriors controls much of it. The Tanakh, and they allow no trespassers past its border. That said, under the Sun King of Art, a fragile peace has been negotiated. And indeed, the next embassy will take place in a day or two on the edge of the frontier. Were you to attend the gathering under his auspices, the Tanakh might grant right of passage instead of hunting you. And attacking on sight. Great, just what I need. More killers. Ah, the Sun King. Aloy, it's good to see you. <laughs> you left in such a this guy. We never had a chance to properly thank you. Can, can we show the champion the spear now, please? He's a man. Quiet. It's true. We bear gifts. Decorum usually calls for a ceremony of offering at the palace. But I thought you would prefer a less formal occasion. Bring them, please. Uh, Avad, this is all very kind, but I... Who's it? Vinasha. Quick. Better hand them over before she runs off again. Really? Must you? These are like side uh, quest characters. It's cool that they're actually... I'm pretty sure, weren't they? I don't remember actually. Pretty sure the little kid was in a side mission, not a main mission. Try it on. It's 
Beautiful. On behalf of all the citizens of the Sun, may these tokens remind you of our eternal gratitude. Perhaps you'd like to spend more time with your friends. Come speak to me when you're ready to depart. Cool. Tell me more about characters from the past. Navigate to the character by the new spear. section you're on. Should be a workbench around here I can use. Let's talk to all these old friends. The sculptor wanted something even bigger, twice the size, covered in gold and jewels. But I was quite certain you wouldn't appreciate that. You were right. I'm sorry, Avad. It's good to see you, but I can't stay long. I see. I had hoped you'd remain in the city for a time. Perhaps at the palace. Meridian's still in danger. But it's bigger than that. To put things right, I have to go west. To Noct territory. By the sun, the Tanakh? Well, perhaps Murad already told you, but... After years of hostility, we've negotiated a truce. In hopes of a lasting peace. Another embassy will be held in just a day or two. When you say years of hostility, I assume you mean the Red Raids? Ah, yes. My favorite subject. I wouldn't ask if I didn't need to know. As you know, my father raided all the border tribes. The Asaram, Banuk, and Nora suffered greatly, resisting as best they could. But none fought back like the Tanakh. They rose up and assaulted our western front at Barren Light, sweeping us from their lands. Getting them to talk to us again after that was... tricky. How did you get the Tanakh to talk again after the war? The same way I got you to talk. By giving gifts. <laughs> the Tanakh like tiaras? <laughs> <laughs> More like metals, spices, and relics looted during the fighting. We've met with them on several occasions. And the gifts seem to have eased the tension. But this coming embassy is the most important yet. The best sign we've had so far that the Tanakh want lasting peace. What makes this coming embassy so special? Well, just like today, it is special because of the guest. <laughs> Our delegation will meet with the Tanakh just outside Baron Light. We'll give them treasure, and they'll return a prisoner. For Shav. One of our finest soldiers. Soldier? Don't you mean raider? No. Not in this case. Fashav is my cousin. Nothing like Helis and his ilk. He joined the Western Expedition with the hopes of reining in certain excesses. But he was captured during a heroic defense of our forward base at Cinnabar Sands. And has been held ever since. Your cousin, Fashav. How long has he been a Tanakh captive? Five years. Tanakh emissaries swear he is well, but I wonder. That tribe is renowned for its brutality. How did he survive? Well, I'll know soon enough. If you see him before I do, tell him that I await him in Meridian, where he belongs. If I see him... I will. Itaman looks happy. And you got him out of Sunfall. Any happiness he has, he owes to you. <laughs> the character models are so good. Man, which he'll need to be if he's to inherit the crown. Wouldn't the crown go to a son of yours first? <laughs> yes, well. I'd have to get married for that to happen. 
Murad keeps throwing noble matches at me. But I find I'm always trying to make them into someone they're not. At any rate, I never aspired to the throne, and I don't wish to sit there forever. When Edaman comes of age, I hope to step aside. Free of the crown. I might finally be able to travel the world. Who knows? Perhaps even accompany you on one of your adventures. You make it sound easy. I... Uh, I need to get going. Uh, one moment, Aloy. There's something I must ask you. Since you left, I've thought of little else. This isn't really the time. But it has to be. The way you left before, there's no way to know when I'll see you again. I'm not trying to stop you. Or hold you back. But I need to know. When your mission is over, will you return to Meridian? And stay? Long enough for us to spend time to get to know each other properly, perhaps. Oh, uh, flashpoints offer moments of emotional choice. How? Oh, so that that is in the first game, but they just it didn't really have that much of an impact. Just like kind of in the moment, so. Um. Oh, that'd be nice. I do hope to see Meridian again, Avat. And you. But this mission. It's my life. It's all I can think about. I have to stay focused. What happens after... I can't imagine that. I... I wouldn't know where to begin. Well, if that place were to end up being Meridian, know that you will always receive a boundless welcome here. Tend to your mission, Aloy. I will hope for your success. And look forward to your return. Well, this, there's a lot of catch up in this from the first game, but whatever. Dowager Queen Nasadi. I need it. Blessed champion. Itaman, what do you say? My humblest thanks to you, great champion, for delivering my mother and me from Sunfall. And for defending our holy city against the forces of shadow. Did I say right? You said it fine, Edmund. And you're welcome. Champion, will you teach me how to shoot like a real machine hunter? It's a man. I, uh... I have to go on an important mission, Prince. To save the world? Something like that. But when I come back, I could give you a few tips. It would be an honor. We owe you our lives, champion. And we will not forget. May the sun light your way. Watch out for Thunderjaws, champion! <laughs> Is it true you and Talana killed Redmaw? Marad said it's true. Hush, child. <laughs> Oh yeah, Redma, that was like the thunder jaw that was like stronger for some reason. Do I have any other friends around? I'll be right here until you need me. Cool. Where's Aaron? He's like the he's like my favorite. Shut up. Anything you need, Aloy. Please ask. Oh, the Vod again. I like Vod. He's just. He's I, just cool. I have to go. Yes, I. I understand. Looks like a memorial. Honoring those who fell in the Battle of the Alight. Lots of brave people defended this place from Hades.
deeply honored to save you. There, the workbench. Luthid, Fanasha, thanks for being here. Wouldn't miss it, even if you did leave us hanging after the big battle. Fanasha, stop. She's here now, isn't she? For the moment, but I see that look on her face. She's got business to attend to, and it isn't in Meridian. You know, I didn't vanish before because I wanted to. I had- No, Huntress, please. You don't have to justify yourself to us. You saved our butts. If you've got to go, go. With our blessing. Always. Um. It's been months since I was in Sunfall. What's become of the Shadow Karja? <laughs> After you wiped out the Eclipse, there were hardly any priests or officers left to terrorize the little people. Abad offered amnesty to all who were forced to serve the Shadow. So the commoners cleaned out the citadel and handed it back to him. The Sundom was unified. Avad wanted Uther to take command of the garrison there, but Captain Cudley here refused. Rumor has it that he wanted to stay close to me here in Meridian. <laughs> That's nonsense, of course. <laughs> <laughs> you both look like you're doing well. Mr. Shiny Pants here is now the Sun King's senior military advisor. That means people actually have to listen to him talk. May the sun bless their sorry souls. At least I say something of substance every once in a while. What was that? I just fell asleep while you were talking. And how about you, Vanasha? I've been looking after Nasadi and Edaman, two parts bodyguard, one part... Bad influence. Huh. I was gonna say nanny, but I like your version better. I never pictured you as a nanny. Edaman must be special. Hold on now. I'm not entirely domesticated. Nasadi was the mad Sun King's wife. She has enemies. I've had to foil a plot or two. Right. You can try to hide it, but inside, you're as soft as a silk pillow. Oh, you have no idea. Huh? Oh, dear. Uh, we are talking what? about Edaman? Yeah. Okay, I admit it. Edaman's cute. He's fun. And he looks up to me. I like him. Except when he forgets to wash his hands after hooking worms in that muddy garden behind a solarium. Blech. Well, you guys are I weird. Know. I know. You're out. Go! Away with you. Always an honor, champion. Always a pleasure. But please, little Huntress, come back someday and tell us about your adventures. If I can't get in trouble, at least I can hear about yours. Okay. Master override installed. Plus, something new to store up and release energy. Uh, resonator. Should help in a fight. Alright, well, I am gonna go to the toilet really quickly, so, yeah.
Set no, my doggy is here. Or do you want to chat some more with your friends? Just a bit longer. Is there anyone else left? I don't think there is. Yeah, no, that's everybody. Aloy. I better get going. And if I'm headed west, it sounds like I'll need rite of passage from the Tanakh, as you said. Where exactly is this embassy going to be held? Past the Daunt, the canyon that marks the western border of the Sundom. You'll find the fortress of Baron Light at its farthest edge. The embassy will take place just beyond its gates. It's a long march, a fortnight on foot. A couple of days hard riding should get us there. Actually, it might be better to rest here tonight. Head out in the morning. Of course. I'll arrange it. Where's Aaron? Where's Aaron? That was a really long intro. Looks like she's just going in circles around the Zero Dawn map. Beautiful. Sparks to steel. Ah, never 
never seen anyone use one of those to get around. Is that how I get to Baron Light? Uh, yes, I mean, usually, but not today. Uh, not yet. And why is that? Well, the Daunt. The whole valley. It's infested with machines. I can handle machines. Oh, I'm sure you can, but uh, I'm under strict orders not to operate until the whistle down at Chain Scrape sounds the all clear. Look, I didn't come all this way just to stand around and wait. I'll crank that car down myself if I have to. Well, but then who would crank it back up? <laughs> fine, fine. Though, should anyone ask, it might be best to say you forced me. I see smoke, but not a lot of activity. Smoke's probably coming from something the machines wrecked. As for the quiet, well, there's a work stoppage in effect because of all the fuss. What sort of machines are causing the trouble? Nasty ones, and lots of them. Bristlebacks, they're called. Strangeness is, they're not native to the Dodge. Just showed up, all of a sudden. No hunters to kill them? Well, we've got hunters, just none that want to cross Ulvan. Boss of Chain Scrape. He is self-appointed. Work stop. It's his idea. Yeah, well, I'm just passing through. Got an embassy to attend. You should have said. That ain't gonna happen no time soon. What are you talking about? Hear that? That's your answer. Who is that? Karja's son priest. Ranked him down yesterday, about an hour before the machine trouble started. He's a very important man, or so he said. That embassy at Baron Light, he's the one supposed to run it. Ah! Great. Who's the carriage of Sun King again? Is that a VOD? Oh, there's so many names and titles and stuff. I... If you don't do as I say immediately, the Sun King himself shall hear of your insolence. Thanks to you, I was forced to spend the night shivering in the tent. Exposed to attack, I might have died. Oh. Me, you refuse to transport, but not this... This... What? This Nora girl? This savage? Besides Scallywag? Wadis. That's Aloy. Studious Wadis? Aloy? You know, savior of Meridian? Really? Well... That lessens the insult, I suppose. I came here for the Embassy of Baron Light. way I hear it, so did you. Well... Not with the valley infested. And so did Aramon proclaim the sun priests most precious and worthy of safekeeping. See, scripture. I shall head to Baron Light when the captain of the vanguard tells me the way is clear, and not a moment sooner. Fine. Captain's a friend of mine, you know? Where is Erend? Wouldn't mind speaking to someone a little more action, a little less... scroll. Wadis. Studious Wadis. Studious Wadis sent Erend and another vanguard out at daybreak to clear the way. And so at daybreak... Hey! Shh. <laughs> Down the valley then? Yeah, said they check the ruins on the left bank for tracks. Take it from there. Okay. I hear there's a work stoppage. Any way to upgrade my gear? I'll bet the smith and chain scrape would let you use his workbench. As for the bristlebacks, you might want to craft some acid arrows. Hitting their canisters with those will take them down quick. Thanks. I'll find Aaron and I'll bring him back. Hey! Where do you think you're going? What? To the top of the ridge. To wait in safety. Sorry. Operator's under strict orders. No passengers till the whistle blows, right? That's right. 
best start cranking. <laughs> Why? Why? Jorf, would you kindly escort Studious to James Grape and wait for me there? You got it. I will find Erend, and I will help clear a path. But after that, no more excuses. Baron Light. Embassy. If such be the will of the sun. It will be. Trust me. I gotta find Erend. Well. But it might be good... Is this the actual? I don't think this is the whole map. Is it actually? I don't know. No, it has to be right. Just upgrade my bow. Yeah, no, I think I think this is actually the whole map this time. The Forbidden West. So the west side of the map, I guess, should be all like ocean and stuff, which is pretty cool. Let's see what this thing is. Unknown. Yeah, rock. The fog is so cool looking. I'll make an interesting color for my armor. This place has seen better days. Get higher up. Well, that's one way to do it, I think. I love the ambient music that plays in this game, it's so nice. It was true, the same as true for the first game, but it's uh, already improved upon in this one. Oh, god. Jump, jump, quick. I don't like this. I don't know. Never mind. <laughs> Looks like some kind of lens. Guess I'll keep it for later. Oh, that's um, what's it called? Chainscape. Chainscape. <laughs> I don't think I can get 
past them. Guess I should leave it for now. Can't get rid of the vines. Not yet, anyway. Oh, it's something I come back to later on when I've proper equipment or something. That's kind of, that kind of sucks. I can't wait to unlock the um, glider thingy. So I can just jump off. High ledges. Roof said I could get my bow upgraded in there. I'd be able to tinker with my other gear too. And I'm stuck. I can't wait to, oh god, I can't wait to explore some of the underwater parts of this game. It's probably one of the things, probably the thing I'm most looking forward to actually. It just looks so cool. Outlander approaching. Is that the savior? Wanna come in, savior? Hey, it's Charles. Welcome to Chainscrape, savior. Open up, guys. Door servers. Good enough for me. The Forge. Petra? Aloy, what are you doing here? Uh, Who did? About time there was something worth looking at in this dump. It's nice to see you too. And not a moment too soon. Come on. I... Damn brewery's the only thing I can count on in this place. Yeah, I heard. Machines, work stoppage. Oh, those are just the latest malfunctions. Chain scrape's always been a few tools short of a kit. And right there is the biggest tool of all. Our land, not our problem. The bristlebacks are everybody. Roland? You've heard of him. Yeah. But he's a story. Best told over a cold beer. Uh, Petra, Petra. I'm just passing through. I'm headed west. Oh. There's an embassy at, at Baron Light I need to make happen, and then I keep moving. Ah, of course. Bigger gears to grind. Well, Flame Hair, good to see you. But you gotta move on. Petra. But if you want a cold beer and a few laughs with an old friend, come find me at the brewery. Your choice. I do not remember her at all. Well, this old one guy sounds like trouble. Maybe Petra could use some support. But first things first, I need to find that workbench and upgrade my bow. Workbench is free if you need to take it with that gear. Fire I hear you. Cool. Maybe I'll leave that for the next day. Um, oh, 
Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This should be useful. Shop looks closed. Yep. Can I still use the workbench? I ain't gonna stop you. All right, I am gonna leave it at that because I'm tired and it seems like a good place to take a break. So yeah, um, thanks for tuning in, anyone who did, and uh, bye.